Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we're going to be looking at algebra, but specifically difference of two squares. This is something that you need to, the principle you need to know whenever you're doing maths so that you make your life easier. So basically, difference of two squares states that x squared minus y squared. Please take note, I'm just using x and y. It could be m and n or p and q or you know anything, right? So these are just replacements for unknown values, right? So x squared minus y squared would be x plus y multiplied by x minus y. So this is a principle that you have to appreciate. So whenever you are you're given two factors like this, and they say expand it. So after the multiplications, you get that. And then if you're given the left-hand side and asked to factorize, you come up to that because this is a factorization where x plus y and x minus y are actually factors of that. So using real numbers, does this hold true? So we can use maybe one or two examples for you to actually see that it makes sense and then it is at your own discretion to be able to identify when this happens. Whenever you have two squares subtracting each other, you know that the plus and the negative, their product will be equal to that. So let's use, let's say x is equal to five and y is equal to two. For just for argument's sake, this is just an example, right? So it'll be five squared minus two squared, which is equal to 25 minus four. And your answer will be 21. Now let's try, this was the left hand side, right? Left hand side. Now let's try the right hand side and see if this will hold true as well, right? So you have five plus two, that's your x plus y, and then you have five minus two, which is equal to seven times three, which is 21. So can you see? Left hand side equals to right hand side. So this is just an illustration, not a proof, but an illustration of how this rule of difference of two squares works. But now, difference of two squares doesn't just stop here at squared. It says that the generalization now says x to the power of 2n minus y to the power of 2n is equal to, right, x plus, uh, in fact, what is it gonna be equal to, right? I'll give you a moment to think, right, where the 2n represents every number, right? Imagine if this was x to the power of four, this was y to the power of four, how would that be, right? Now, knowing the laws of exponents, right, it's going to be x n to the power of two minus y to the power of n squared. Can you still see that this two n is the same as that, right? But we have represented it as a multiple of two. The reason why we've done this is because we want to represent it in the original format. So your x in this case would be your x to the power of n your y here would be your y to the power of n. So now, going to the right hand side, what you're supposed to put in here is, is gonna be x to the power of n plus y to the power of n, right? And then x to the power of n minus y to the power of n. And it's like that. So n can be any natural number, right? n can be any number, basically. Because you're saying, as long as the power is even, as long as the power is even, then you can be able to 
extend the difference of two squares to work for, for you. Right, I'll give an example, right? Let's say x to the power of four minus y to the power of eight. Now, we can use the difference of two squares here because they both have even powers in the subtraction. Doesn't work if it's plus, it only works this, if this is minus because we're talking about a difference. So this, we can rewrite in terms of, uh, as multiples of two, right? So this would be x squared squared, meaning two times two will give us four, minus y to the power of four times two, to the power of two like that. So four times two would give us eight. Now, this squared minus this squared should give us that, right? So x squared plus y to the power of four, x squared minus y to the power of four. Can you see? But if you really understood the concept of difference of two squares, then you will notice that the second term in the factor here, can, you can also simplify, factorize it further with what? Because it's got even powers in the negative sign. So let's do that. So x squared minus y to the power of four, will be written as x squared minus y squared squared, right? So this is difference of squares, which is equal to x squared minus, oh sorry, x minus y squared, x plus y squared. So that means that you can represent, you can represent this part by these two factors. So your final answer would be equal to x squared plus y to the power of four, and that, right, times x minus y squared, x plus y squared. Now, you have fully used the difference of two squares to factorize this expression. So it is always important for you to recognize situations where there is a difference and the two powers are even, then you know that you can apply the difference of two squares by expressing the powers as multiples of two and simplifying like what the rule says and then simplify it until you can't simplify and factorize it until you can't factorize any further. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.